Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Fazio and Lisa May. Today we're drilling holes through a cargo container to install this fan, which I just put a, a temporary mesh over the fan so I don't stick my hand in there. I think that's a good idea. Now I'm going to show you how to drill holes properly and how to tell if the bits are cutting properly. First thing I'm going to show you is the bits that are sharp can face your work area. The bits that are dull face away from the work area. This way you always know which bits are sharp and which are not. The second thing I'm going to show you, the next thing I'm going to show you, is that this is a Milwaukee Magnum hole shooter from the 1980s. Best drill ever made in my opinion. It has a Jacobs chuck which holds the bits in place very nicely. Now I'm going to explain to you that on each drill bit has what is called a shank. The shank is the shiny part or part without the flutes on the drill bit. Those are the flutes. This is the shank in the bottom right there. That's the shiny is the shank. The rest are the flutes. You do not put the entire shank into the chuck. Typically, one-third to one-half the length of the shank is acceptable and, and recommended. Now, I put down a canvas under my work area, which helps me keep it clean. And Daisy, she has the brush, a bench brush, that we keep the area clean so that our, the shavings don't get stuck on our elbows or our clothes and we drag them all over everywhere. Now, another thing I'm gonna tell you is we don't use oil because if this bit is sharp enough to go through the steel at, at, a, at an acceptable rate, it will cut enough steel to keep the tip of the drill bit cool all by itself. Believe it or not, you don't need oil to drill holes through steel if you can apply enough pressure with a sharp enough bit unless it's some kind of weird stainless steel, then then you can even cut stainless if you have titanium bits, but I don't have those. Okay, now, this magnet is here so that you can see the size of the shavings. If the shavings are too small, it's either when the hole is starting, the drill bit is dull or you're not applying enough pressure. But when you get to the longer shavings like that, that means that the drill bit is cutting at an acceptable rate. You're applying enough pressure. It's keeping the bit cool enough. And towards the end of the hole, I'm gonna stop, but you're gonna see the shaving will get very long at the end of the hole because it's going through the last two or 3% of the metal and it's cutting it fast. This drill bit just drilled 16 or 20 holes. I, I lost track. So Daisy and I are gonna apply pressure to the drill equally to keep the bit straight. That's something you wanna do. And now we're just gonna take a random hole here. And then these all will be 9 16 And I will show you the shavings that are on that magnet when we're done. So Daisy, on three, we're gonna start. Ready? You're gonna hear the drill. That's how you know where you are in the hole. In the beginning, the drill goes very fast. It slows down and sounds different while it's drilling the steel, if it's cutting properly. And when it goes through the other side, it slows down quite a bit and there's a completely different sound. So here we go. One, two, three. Now, right now, the, hold the drill up, honey. Yeah. Right now, the pieces are coming out quite small, but that's gonna change when we go through, and I'll show you the cutter. Okay, now you, they're getting bigger. Okay, 
Well, I couldn't show it to you, but I can show you the pieces. The longer pieces were at the end. The smaller pieces were in the beginning when the tip was starting. And I have my finger on the drill bit that I just cut with, and you can see it's not hot. Okay? That was, um, it, it's not hot because the steel keeps the drill bit cool. If you're cutting through fast enough, you don't need oil. So that's my quick drill bit lesson. And I am a jet mechanic. I was trained in the field of mechanics and engineering. I know how to use just about every machine in the machine shop and I'm qualified to learn any machine. So I think I have a little bit of instructional knowledge and I hope that this helps you, especially with keeping the drill bits that are dull facing you and the sharp ones so you don't have to put it in and out of the chuck five or six times. That's a big one. So, this is Michael Fazio. And this is me. Saying, I'm being Permi from the Philippines, baby. Oy vey and shalom from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby.